everybody. Todd Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. We're towards the weekend, and boy, has it been a crazy week. We've had a Category 2 hurricane make landfall. We have another hurricane out towards the Pacific right now, and we haven't talked about anything over the lower 48 whatsoever. So let's go ahead and fix that. Over the next 6 to 10 and 8 to 14 day outlooks here, you can actually see that we have a big pattern change coming up where we're actually going to see those cool temperatures be uh, prevalent across the western half of the U.S. now. And the east is going to warm up a little bit. Also, it's going to get more active out towards the western half of the U.S. in regards to precipitation as well. You can see the above average precip probabilities on both outlooks here and then on the temperature outlooks here. You can see where the northeast in particular seems like it's going to be the point of interest for above average temperatures and notably above average temperatures at that. Another area to watch, of course, is the southeast. That looks like we're going to have above average precipitation over there. Interesting look from the tropics as well. We're not going to really get into that on this video, but we will be keeping an eye on that as well. You might see a couple features on the model runs that we're showing in a little bit here. So also another thing to talk about, of course, is severe weather threat over the four to eight day outlook here on days five, seven and eight is when we have the predictability to low tag. So there is a chance that we could see some severe weather right now. I haven't seen anything that screams out to me widespread end all be all tornado outbreak or anything of the like. And I don't anticipate that occurring here. So that's good news for you guys, but still need to be watchful of the weather. It could be disruptive to any plans that would be set in place for next week so definitely still want to be staying tuned to the weather here in any case though this is what our weather models are looking like currently we do have a low pressure feature that's over here just now crossing the border into canada at this point this is going to start to bring those temperatures down and we also have this little feature right here of low pressure that is keeping temperatures down over towards the deep south right now and for a while, this stretch is going to continue, but over the course of the next couple of days, if you look out towards the west, you see our next big feature right here. This is what's going to really start to have that cool down begin to take off over here towards the west. And once this starts, it continues from that point. This trough falls apart and then a new one comes in right behind it, almost kind of looking like a trough ejection. And this does make me wonder if there could be an opportunity for severe weather. Like I said, this isn't really anything that screams out to me anything significant at the moment. Still have to be watchful of this. This isn't really well wound up area of low pressure, but still need to be watchful of this. This could even bring severe weather chances maybe back towards the southern plains here, depending on timing, which is still very much variable at this point. But the thing to make note of here is with this troughing, it is undoubtedly going to cool down the temperatures over here. You can even see this indicated on the year on the bottom left of the screen. So if we continue to go throughout this period, and another thing that we need to be watchful of here is look at the flow here from this area right here. I'm going to mark it for you so that way you can see it clearly. But right through here, we're actually going to be in a situation where the winds are going to kind of curve down from Canada. And geez, that is horrible arrow. But you can see where the wind barbs are pointing this way and then pushing almost from northeast to southwest here. So it's going to be offshore flow. I don't expect, I do expect some chances for thunderstorms, but the overall motion of the storms might be a little bit different than what most of you are used to. Also, this will help keep the temperatures cool over here towards the deep south here. Hence why we saw the equal chance of above or below average temps there. So there's some good news to be had for you guys. As we continue to go forward though, we eventually get out of this little snap here and I do expect some increase in temperatures here, along with an interesting feature that kind of pops up over here where we actually see that motion still coming into play from the Northeast to Southwest here. Almost could even be a tropical feature, question mark. But we'll have to keep an eye on that and see how that goes. This becomes its own little uh, feature over the US here. And then this actually will end up keeping the temperatures cool for a little bit longer over towards the Southeast than other areas. Eventually this will cause a little bit of a cool down even towards the Northern states. And as we go further along here, we start to uh, kind of mellow out a little bit with the weather in the short term, right towards the end of the run here, we see something else pretty crazy that might cause a pretty big cool down. And maybe with this, a more notable severe weather threat comes into play here as we get towards the end of September here. So 
while I'm not going to really put too much emphasis on severe weather in this video, the big emphasis really is going to be on the temperatures at this point here. So what we're going to do, of course, is we're going to go ahead and take a look at the GFS here. And we're going to go ahead and just really get an idea of what those temperature values are going to be looking like today. So at this point here, it's pretty much the norm. It's really not until we get into about maybe 80, 90 hours out where we start to see a notable change here. We're starting to see a lot less of those 80s and 90s that we've been used to seeing over here towards the northwest in particular. Those triple digits aren't even over here towards the southwest anymore. We're dealing with even like eight mid 80s at this point, which is a godsend, I'm sure, for a lot of you guys. You guys have been getting hit pretty hard with heat for a while, so it's a welcome break for you guys. And then as time goes on, you can start to see hit, start to see the heat build back over towards the central part of the U.S. as time goes on. So what ends up happening over time is we start to see more of that cold air begin to dominate out towards the west. And you see the heating of the Great Lakes here almost to a boil. All jokes aside, it's still going to be pretty hot over there. Or it's going to definitely look different than what we're used to for sure here. Even starting to unfortunately see those triple digits back over towards the southern plains. I'm sure you guys are not happy to see that. And then, of course, towards the end, we can actually see this start to really come into play again for those Great Lakes states here. Getting into the 90s, some places getting all the way up into the upper 90s here. We have Chicago sitting at 90 on September 28th. And then even the southeast starting to heat back up as well, unfortunately. So still not done with the heat just yet, but it's definitely not as bad as what we've been seeing. Of course, this still can change a little bit, but... I have pretty decent, decent confidence in this at this current point in time. Let's go ahead and then take a look at what our temperature anomaly will look like. And this is where things kind of get a little bit more dramatic, where, of course, we're also going to have the euro on this one. You can actually see right now with the way things are currently, we're, well, we're pretty much well below average over here towards the Mississippi River Valley here. And then, of course, over towards the deep south pretty much right at average maybe just above or below by a few degrees or two and then watch what happens after we get past this weekend temperatures are actually pretty nice over towards the southeast actually below average which is a welcome sight for a lot of us here myself included and then monday here we go this is where we start to see those below average temperatures 10 to 20 even 30 degrees below average especially over towards nevada at this point which is pretty significant and then as we continue to go on we start to see those below average temperatures really start to spread at this point greatest concentration being over towards the Sierras at this point. Start to see those above average temperatures start to really kick in over here towards the Midwest here in particular, unfortunately. So back to the heat we go, unfortunately, although it's not quite as dramatic just how hot we end up getting at first. It's a kind of a slow burn, no pun intended where we're getting to about maybe 10 to 15 degrees above average. As time goes on though, especially as we get towards the back end of this model run is where things start to get a little bit more extreme, unfortunately. So we do get a little bit of a chance to brace ourselves. By the time we get towards the 27th here, that's when we start to see those 20 and 30 degree above average temperatures returning once again. Summer is trying to hang on at this point, folks. So don't let your guard down. That's really the main thing that I'm trying to drive, the main point that I'm trying to drive home at this point. It does look like though, however, once we get towards the end of this month in particular, we might see another dramatic pattern change here. It's kind of early to latch onto the signals, but from what I've seen, especially with the last signal kind of verifying, I, I feel marginally good about this. I wouldn't say that I'm completely on board just yet. I'm hoping it happens to where we can have those below average temperatures start to spread east a little bit more and kind of have the uh, weather pattern mellow out a little bit more but we'll have to just wait and see what happens with that there. So last thing we'll talk about, of course, is our moisture here. We're gonna be looking at who is going to be getting precipitation. We're definitely putting our hopes into the Southwest getting more precipitation. Wildfire issue and smoke issue there has been absolutely insane. So as we continue to go forward here, this is Tropical Storm Elena that we're keeping an eye on as well. And we're hoping that it brings some moisture into play. And it looks like it does, bring a little bit and here's an interesting thing once we get towards that time frame where that trough comes in over towards the uh, southern base of the sierras here we're actually starting to see some little 
blue dots on here that's actually snow that's coming into play it's been a while since we've seen that so changing the season is coming very quickly the official start is on the 22nd but we're starting to feel the effects now now another thing that is going to be happening is weather pattern is still pretty active while not quite in regards to being significantly active i.e severe weather or anything of the like we are going to get an increase in precipitation across the board here as to the uh, central part of the u.s western part of the u.s or the, even the eastern parts there are there's a nice little machine of moisture coming through and then look at this right here as we get towards the 348 hour mark here we're starting to even see snow back over towards montana and it's crazy to think that literally a couple of weeks ago these guys were in the 90s so pretty dramatic changes coming once again as we mentioned before so we'll have to keep an eye on what this has in store for us next especially as we get towards the end of the month but if what i'm seeing is true i do think that maybe there could be chances of severe weather as we start the month of october gonna maybe even start to see a little bit more in the way of wintry precipitation coming into play here of course we're just kind of have, gonna have to wait and see how the models trend from this point and what the final outcome is but in any case hope you guys enjoyed the video you found it useful if you did make sure you guys smash that like button and decimate that subscribe button until then you guys take care have an awesome weekend and i will see you very soon it's been tire metal at weatherman signing off